everybody, this is Praxis, and I've been working this morning on getting this wood pile kind of cut back uh, and cleared out so we can start getting our woodshed in. This is going to be where the woodshed is going to be situated. The woodshed is going to be 7 feet deep. It's going to be 16 feet long, off in that direction. Uh, and uh, I've just been trying to cut this wood pile back a little bit at a time. We're just going through these this morning. and. Uh, it's been, it's been rough going because there's a lot of dirt and stuff mixed in with this, so you, know, you don't want to be running the chainsaw through dirt. Uh, so it's kind of like chop and clean and then chop and clean and then we're splitting. I'm bringing the, uh, the split and cut stuff into the greenhouse to dry because it really needs to dry before we need to use it in the winter. And while I still have hope, and I think I'm going to be able to do it to get this structure done before the winter, if I finish it like one day before the snow falls and then I put all my, my firewood in, that firewood's not going to be dry. It needs to be drying right now. It needs, it needs to have been drying for the past month or so. So it's been sitting in the greenhouse where it's nice and hot. Not super ventilated uh, because I haven't really finished up all the screens in there, but at least, you know, it's doing a decent job drying in there. Um, so I was doing that this morning. That's hard work. I'm kind of tired out from that. So what I've been doing this afternoon is some carpentry for inside the house. Uh, this is a piece of tree. It's black birch, which has a beautiful smell to it. One of my favorite trees in the area. And I'm going to be using this for a, a place for hanging coats in the closet. Uh, I think it's great to be able to use stuff like this uh, for your carpentry. You know, now when we put the place up, I was just using regular dimensional lumber. Uh, you don't have to do it that way. It doesn't save money doing it that way. It's more expensive than, you know, say, like felling your own trees and turning them into boards and all that. But <clears throat> it certainly saves a heck of a lot of time. So we did most... <coughs> I think I nailed a bug. We did most of the, uh, the house with just uh, dimensional lumber. But now that, you know, we're in, uh, you know, I can take a little bit more time and uh, do this kind of stuff. And I'm just uh, taking this rasp, taking down these... Uh, little branches and things like that. I, I think I'm going to leave most of the bark on there and then just kind of sand it down. I'm going to put a couple of three-quarter inch boards on either side so I can get into position and then screw it in like that. Uh, I, I mentioned I'm taking my time with this, but overall I am feeling a sense of urgency. I really want to get the solar panels up on the roof. I think we're going to do those in about a month from now. Uh, the reason for that is uh, I want to do that. It's a two-person job. My dad is available in about a month to help me with that. Uh, a couple of you guys have, uh, it's good advice, have suggested maybe I should have a crane to get the panels up there. We're still going to try it uh, like a lower cost way. Uh, you know, safety is super important to me. I don't want to get injured or killed up there. So, I'm, you know, we're going to have harnesses. We're going to be tied down. We're not going to fall off the roof. But uh, we do have a plan for a way that we might be able to get the panels up there without having to rent a crane. And if we can save that money, you know, we'd like to do that. So I really want to get that done before the winter. I want to get this done before the winter. Um, you know, and, th and there is a fair sense of urgency. And it reminds me of the beginning of this series when I was creating kind of like a, a dramatic, fictitious sense of urgency when I had like a faux uh, a health pandemic sort of uh, situation. And then obviously we had COVID and it became like kind of a real thing. Uh, <coughs> that bug's still in the back of my throat. Um, and it really mirrors, you know, what was uh, hypothetical and fictitious in the beginning of the series has really been, become concrete and realistic now. You know, I think a lot of us are feeling that the fallout from COVID, you know, and it's to some degree, I think it's not even the fallout from COVID. COVID's being kind of blamed for it. There's a huge bug over here. If I can point to it with the stick, it's right over here when you see it moving again. Um, you know, a lot of this was stuff that was kind of baked into the cake. It was things that were... Uh, Simmering, you know, from all the massive debt and overextension of our society, the waste, the surplus, the avarice and all that kind of stuff. And it's being kind of blamed on COVID. But whatever the case is, you know, things are coming to a head and we're all feeling it. And I want to finish some projects before the, the shit really hits the fan. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.